as of this morning of the 25th of March 2020. I'm going to take you through uh, what the situation really looks like at the Ghana Health Service website. Now, uh, this is how uh, it was reported as at 10.50 a.m. as this morning, 68 cases, two deaths, no recoveries. And this is the news and the update that came through from the GhanaHealthService.org forward slash COVID-19. This is the website dedicated by the National Ghana Health Service to update us all on what's happening. Now, you might want to know exactly what, indeed, uh, this 15 new cases comprise. Because if you recall, we went to bed last night with a total of 57 cases. That's what we did know. We woke up, and this is what we have, 68 cases. So, clearly, as at the morning of 25th of March, 2020, according to the information on this website, a total of 68 cases, including two deaths, have been confirmed. 66 of these confirmed cases are being managed in isolation. Now, the sudden spike in case incidents is as a result of the mandatory quarantine and compulsory testing for all traveling and that's travelers entering Ghana as directed by the president. Overall, 30 of the 68 cases have been reported in the general population with the remaining 38 cases among persons currently under mandatory quarantine. As of 24th of March, a total of 1,030 persons are under mandatory quarantine. Um, samples from 863 of them have been tested and 38 confirmed positive. So this is the picture and the explanation we're getting to the total number of cases as we speak. So 30 out of the, 30, the 68 cases have been reported in the general population. What this is, means is that really what uh, it's going on is the, that's the community transfer and the people who actually reported the cases prior to those who were mandatorily quarantined uh, after the president declared the borders, air, sea, land, all shut. 38 cases uh, confirmed from those persons who have been mandatorily quarantined. So that's what's happening right now. That's how the picture really looks like. Now, the question still remains that how about those who came into their jurisdiction prior to uh, this particular quarantine, uh, this mandatory quarantine that started on Saturday? Uh, all things being equal, you do a logical derivation. You would want to conclude that they came in uh, and, and, and they have to go through some more testing. And that's why the call by the WHO, let's keep testing and testing and testing. Question still remains whether we have enough test kits that if out of the abundance of caution, lots of people going to test, we will be able to do that. Now, to